Hello everyone, Alan Mischer here from Vitality Explorer News, and this is part of Vitality Explorers. You can join the group uh, by simply going to vitalityexplorers.com to receive free information about how to enhance your physical, mental, social, and spiritual vitality. And today we're going to say happy birthday to Louis Pasteur. He was born on December 27th, uh, 1822. That would make him 199 years old if you're still alive today, and we have much to thank uh, Pasteur IV, uh, and one of the things you might know or may not know is that he was uh, the inventor of pasteurization, that is like heating milk or wine to, to sterilize it, and that was a, a massive invention in the 1800s. The other thing he was really importantly known for was chance favors the mind that is prepared, or chance favors the prepared mind. It was in French, so there's a variety of different um, sort of translations of that phrase. But when you think about that, that's one of my favorite phrases of all time. It was actually uh, two points for every AP biology uh, test I ever took, uh, and that it was a fill in the blank. Chance favors the mind that is prepared. And I have a thought about that in the context of the new year and in the context of Pasteur's birthday, which is the December 27th. And that is, what could you do if you thought about that phrase, chance favors the prepared mind, and flipped it around a little bit and said, what is your mind, body, or business prepared to do in the next year? What is your mind, body, or business prepared to do in the next year? Now think about that question for a couple seconds as we move forward and talk about how Pasteur was also a vaccination pioneer and, and how that phrase came about, chance favors the prepared mind. So in the late 1700s, a guy named Edward Jenner uh, started working on smallpox and vaccination of, uh, for smallpox, which was a terrible scourge back then. Um, and Pasteur was aware of this work uh, in, the, in the 1800s when he was doing the majority of his work, and he reasoned that other vaccines could work in the context of Jenner's work. So he developed... Uh, in rabbits, the first live attenuated virus, okay, which is sort of, uh, he did it by uh, using viral cultures that were old, and he found that these attenuated cultures, these viruses that were not really virulent, could still help protect animals from uh, rabies, and then did the first human trial. Um, amazing back then. So I, I think he's a uh, a pioneer on many levels, but I would call him an observation pioneer. And what do I mean by that is his mind was prepared to make that leap forward. So uh, he had known about the previous uh, work that was done in vaccinations. He had been doing a lot of his own work, so he was prepared. And when he talked about that, that's what you're supposed to be aware of when you're making observations is your entire uh, history of what you've done. Uh, and he developed uh, vaccines that saved millions and millions of lives, and his work um, uh, was built upon for the vaccinations that we now have um, for COVID-19. Um, so when you think about that phrase, chance favors only the prepared mind, and I kind of pull that forward, say chance favors only the prepared mind, body, and soul or business, um, what can you do in 22? What can you do with your mind, body, business, or soul? in 2022. Think about that question and uh, say happy birthday to Louis Pasteur, whose work uh, we are still remembering today in 2021. And again, subscribe below if you like this video and join us in vitalityexplorers.com uh, for free information about how to enhance your physical, mental, social, and spiritual well-being. Happy New Year, everybody.